Boom. Welcome to Fight Heads MMA. It's me, Miss Nikki. Let's talk about this BKFC London card. Skill versus instinct. Hitman187 Joe Elmore versus Connor the Bomb Bomber Tierney. Woo! These two went at it. It was just what I thought it was going to be. If Mr. Elmore was not able to stop that, that lateral movement of Mr. Tierney, he was going to have a hard time all night. So for me, Mr. Tierney came in and fought off his skills. And Joe, as he usually is, is a instinct fighter. So with that being said, that one trick pony is no longer working for him. So he's going to have to find something to replace or add to that right hand. He can't, ju he can't just depend on that right hand all the time. Congratulations, Connor Tyranny. And Mr. Tyranny has called out the beast of bare knuckle. Woo! Boy, he want all the smoke with Louis Palomino, who is our two-division champion right now. <laughs> Let's go. Styles make fight. That would be an excellent fight for both of them. James Lilly versus Tyler Goodjohn. This fight was everything that I thought it would be. Everything. Tyler came forward. He came forward. He put the pressure on, but Mr. Lilly is excellent at fighting off that back foot and going backwards. I didn't see that coming, but it worked very well for him. They exchanged the whole time, but Mr. Lilly kept the pressure on whether he was forward moving or backward moving with those combinations, that jab and those combinations. With that being said, Tyler was able to fire off some shots during the fight, but he just could not keep up with the combinations that Mr. Lilly was putting together. That fight was everything that I thought it was going to be and more. So congratulations to Mr. Lilly, who was able to come out of a firefight like that with Mr. Uh, Good John still standing like... That kid is, is is the real deal. So with that being said, I know he's working off his new system right now of fighting. So that's why we've seen him being more protective of himself in this fight as opposed to him holding his hands down like we're used to seeing him do. So with that being said, we're going to have to give him a chance to make full circle with this new fighting system, Mr. Uh, Good John. And Mr. Lilly is just going to keep doing what he does, which is putting them combinations on people and using that jab to set it up. So congratulations, Mr. Lilly, on your win. And Miss Nikki has to give a huge shout out to Tyler Goodjohn for effectively fighting through four rounds with a closed eye. Sam Shoemaker versus Mick. Terrell. This was one of the more interesting fights on the card to me because it's a heavyweight fight. I know that uh, Shoemaker needed a win and so did Mick. You know, he's been down for a while. Um, Ms. Nikki said he looked like he rolled off the couch. He did. He does. He does. But at the end of the day, he got it. He went in there and got that win with his soccer daddy, soccer dad body. Look at you, Sam. Bring yourself to the front of the congregation, young man. Look at your opponent's face. Look at that smile on his face. If you don't want to be in that position again, please go on and have plenty of seats, baby. Just let it go. Like, I don't think you still have that same hunger you had when you first came in. So I need you to just relax for a little while and figure out what's really, really next for you. Congratulations to Mick Perel. As I said, both of these men have been done in by our current BKFC heavyweight, two-time heavyweight champion, Arnold Boombae, Boogeyman Adams. I want, what y'all want? But I got another monster to show y'all on this video. So, hold tight. Congratulations, Mr. Perel. Congratulations on your win, young man. And welcome back to BKFC. And the funny haha -ha for Miss Nikki is, 
I was talking about Mr. Terrell's body, but he stopped the fight with a body shot on Shoemaker. I can't breathe was the words that stopped this fight from Mr. Fishgold. I promise you guys, Mr. Foswick came and put a clinic on in that square ring in this fight. I am so proud of this young man. He just went in there and got it done. And it was Mr. Fishgold who thought he was going to break Mr. Boswick. That did not happen. That left hand was a problem in his ab for them first two rounds in his face, in his body. Every time he thought he wanted to exchange, Mr. Boswick met him with that left hand. Bang. There you go. Look at that. You don't want that to happen? Might not want to step in the square ring. Congratulations, Mr. Boswick. You broke your opponent. Christie versus Brashear. Mr. Brashear came in as the favorite in this fight. I believe people thought he was going to dominate and kind of rough this kid up and the opposite happened. That's what happened to him. He was good in the clinch, but, but Mr. Christie just was not going to be denied tonight. He stayed in there with him. They both dropped some bombs during this fight. Mr. Brazier got dropped in the fight. And then he was just done. He couldn't take no more. And the ref stopped it. So congratulations to Mr. Christie for coming in here and getting a win that nobody thought you was going to get. Congratulations, young man. Let's go. The Gangster Prince of Wales. David, one more round versus Ash Griffin. These two had a nice little two round fight. In the first round, Mr. Mr. Griffin got knocked down twice, but only one was counted. In that second round, he went down two or three times, and the third time, the ref just called it. It was a slugfest between the two of them, but I kind of get the feeling that Mr. Griffith uh, ain't never been hit that hard in any of his previous fights because he just didn't like being hit. So with that being said, congratulations, uh, the Gangster Prince of Wales. Zolt attack. That's a pole Miss Nikki wouldn't mind sliding down. Yeah, this young man is a monster. He is huge from the heavyweight division. He has bare knuckle background. He went in there and got Mr. Harris out of there very quickly. I will say Mr. Harris did get an overhand right on, on Mr. Zoltak, and, um, but that didn't do anything to him. Mr. Uh, David finished him with body shots. Mr. Harris did use his foot and head movement, but David was just too big. Congratulations, David, on your win. I can't wait to see what's next for him in this heavyweight division at BKFC. Yeah, this was my fight of the night for sure. Woo, Mr. Hick versus uh, Mr. Shepard. Oh my goodness, these two. I told y'all it was something in Mr. Eyes that said to me, I will not be denied tonight. And I'm telling you, these two went at it. They both brought their skill set. But Mr. Hick came in with those combinations, that jab and them combinations. That should have been the, the thing of my video was the jab and the combinations. But these two went at it. It was close to me. It was really, really close. But Mr. Hick got the unanimous decision win over Mr. Shepard. I see these two meeting again in the future. I do. Congratulations, Mr. Hick, because y'all set this card off right. Tanaglia versus Simons. Ooh, he looked real nice with his uh, bow tie on. But y'all see what happened in this fight. And the pictures don't even tell the whole fight because these two kind of went back and forth. Once Real Talk got his footing, he was able to slide some some nice little um, hooks on on Mr. Uh, Tagliella. He did not come out victorious. This is what the end result of that fight was.
surprisingly, being that he came in with more boxing experience, more combat experience than his opponent. So with that being said, sometimes you just bite off more than you can chew. Congratulations, Mr. Tagniala from uh, Spain. Yeah, you came all the way to England to get that win. Let's go, baby. Let's see what you got for us in the future. I can't see is how this fight ended. Mr. May versus Mr. Cunningham. Heavyweight. Mr. May was supposed to be the one with all the experience coming into this fight. I believe it was his cardio that did him in. He effectively quit. I understand he said he couldn't see. I believe it was his cardio. I don't even think the doctor believed his story about he couldn't see. The first round, they spent effectively fighting in the clinch. Just from off the go bell, they fought in the clinch. And Mr. May was winning this fight. Winning this fight. But going into the second round, you could see in the middle of the two rounds that... Uh, Mr. 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 May was having a hard time with his his cardio and it really started to affect him and it really affected him going into the third round. He said he couldn't see, but I still believe that it was his cardio and he was winning this fight. He was winning the fight. He stepped in with some left left hands and, and follow up punches, you know, and was winning the fight, had opened up some cuts on his opponent, Mr. Cunningham, but then his body gave out. So hopefully if he comes back, when he comes back, he'll have his cardio situation under control. And if it's not his cardio, then I hope whatever was ailing him, he gets it checked on and he recovers quickly. And I also like to put a note in that since Mr. May wanted to be in the clinch. Mr. Cunningham made him pay for it by landing great body shots, just great body shots. And I think that's what started to affect his cardio. He wasn't expecting that, didn't see it coming, probably had never had it happen before. And that was the end result. He said he couldn't see, he was done fighting. So he effectively gave Mr. Cunningham a win that he has been looking for. So, congratulations, Mr. Cunningham. Barbaru versus Vinny. This was a wild fight, especially in the first round. In that first round, Mr. Barbaru just came out swinging from New York. He was all the way over here in, in the United States swinging. Man, as soon as Mr. Vinny was able to get his footing get his timing. He was able to start landing his shots. Mr. Mr. Barbaru caught him a couple times with those wild um, punches, but then Mr. Mr. Vinny kind of settled in. And in that second round, well, he knocked him down in the first round and <laughs> I don't know if old boy really wanted to get up there, but he did. And they went into the second round and they seemed a little calmer in the second round. And then Mr. Barbaru came back with those same wild punches. And the end result is Mr. Barbaru quit. He did not come out of the 10 count in his fourth knockdown. That was it. He was done. Congratulations, Mr. Vinny. Platinum versus Venom. Woo, what a fight. What a fight. These two came in. Locked and ready. Off the bell. Mr. Perry did what, what Miss Nikki thought he should have. He smothered, came forward. He wasn't able to land a lot of shots until about the third round. But that was that was about the point when all that pushing and roughing of Mr. Um, Venom started to wear on, on Mr. Page. And he wasn't as active as he was in the first three rounds, and boy, did it show. Mr. Perry was able to start landing shots. Oh, my God, this fight went to a sixth round. It went to a sixth round. Mr. Perry got a knockdown in the first round on Mr. Venom. 
And throughout the fight, Mr. Venom was just doing his thing like he usually does. Um, his fancy footwork, his fancy uh, way of throwing his shots came across. He broke Mr. Uh, Perry's face in the first round, I believe. Is that same grit that I knew Mike Perry had that was going to carry him through this fight and was going to make him victorious. So with that being said, Mr. Venom is built for bare knuckle. We just got to wait for him to finish his MMA career before he comes over and be full time here. So that was a great fight between these two men. It was everything that I expected. Um, Venom was roughing Mike Perry up there for a while. Like I said, in the first three rounds, he was handling his business. And then, you know, the fight started to wear on him. And there you have it. Mike was able to take over. I believe both men made a good accounting for themselves in this fight. I believe that if Mr. Uh, Page comes back, he will be very much welcome. He'll be very much more. They'll want to see him fight again. I would like to see him fight again. Mr. Perry, he's the real deal. He is the real deal. He may be a lot of things to a lot of people, but the one thing he is is a bare knuckle fighter. So with that being said, if you can't hurt him, you might not want to fight him. There was a moment I believe in that second round where uh, Mr. Page tagged Mr. Perry and he touched the canvas with both hands, but that was not counted as a knockdown and the fight continued. So if there was anything to cry about, that might be it. Round six is where we got to see Swaggy Magoo come out. So welcome to Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, Swaggy Magoo and Platinum Mike Perry. Congratulations on your win, young man. Huge win. I knew you could do it. Enjoy your win. Be ready for the next rough and tough competitor, young man. So it'll be up to you guys as my fighters and as viewers and novice of bare knuckle fighting to decide whether the fighters use their skills or their instinct. And last note to my fighters. Please don't become complacent with easy wins. I need you to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And that you don't have to quit in the middle of a fight. Congratulations to my winners. Can't wait to see everybody return.